Hi. We are going to discuss about the ray diagrams of concave mirror when the object is placed at different positions. Okay. This is the concave mirror. This is P focus as well as center of curvature. So now we will see what are the different images are going to be formed when the object is going to be placed at different positions in front of a concave mirror. So let's start our experiment. The first position is when the object is placed at infinity. Means you all know infinity source of light is going to produce parallel beam of light. See, this is the parallel beam of light. Now you can clearly understand where the rays are going to intersect. They are intersecting at a point called F. See, that means when the object is placed at infinity, image is going to be formed on F. This is our first condition. You can clearly see the image is formed on F. Now, the second condition is what happens when the object is placed beyond C. Okay, let's see what will happen to the object when the object is placed beyond C. See, this is C and here I am placing the object. See, so object has been placed beyond C. Now see, when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, the reflected ray should pass through F. See, this is F. Now, I'm going to draw a line here. You can clearly see it. I'm drawing the line here. Okay. This is the reflected ray. Now, the second ray I'm taking, this one, when the incident ray passes through F, then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. You can clearly see a line here. I hope you can see the line. So this is the line. See, this is the line which has been formed. So now this is the line. Now you can see this reflected ray and this reflected ray are going to meet at this point. So this is the place where the image is going to be formed. Now you can see clearly this is image. Okay. That means when the object is placed beyond C, image is formed between F and C. See, this is inverted image is formed here. And the size of the image is less than the size of the object. You can compare. The size of the image is less than the size of the object in this case. Now, we'll move to the third condition. What happens when the object is placed exactly on C? Okay. For this... Okay, now we are placing the object exactly on C. Okay, now observe carefully. Now this is the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis. Then the reflected ray should pass through F. See, this is where the reflected ray is passing. I am drawing a line here. And now the second condition is if the incident ray passes through F, then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. That means, okay. Now you can clearly understand these two are intersecting at this point. Now I'm going to form the image here. Now you can clearly see if the object is placed on C, image is also formed on C. Now look at the size of the image. Now the size of the image is almost equals to the size of the object. See clearly? Size of the object and size of the image both are equal in this case. Now we will go to the next condition. Now we are placing the object between F and C. Let us see what is going to happen and the way the image is going to be formed. Observe carefully. Now we have placed the object between F and C. First one, if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, then the reflected ray should pass through F. Now, this is the reflected ray. Now, this is the reflected ray. Okay. Now, what we have done is, we are going to use this rule. If it is passing through F, 
then the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis now this is the line now these two lines are intersecting at this point now if I am going to join them here we got the image it's a inverted image and where the image is found image is found beyond C now look at the size of the image the size of the image is greater than size of the object see this is the object size that's why we can say an enlarged image is formed in this case now we are going to place the object exactly on F okay at this position let's see what type of image is going to be formed here so the first rule if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis reflected ray should pass through F as it is passing through F I'm going to draw a line here this is the reflected ray okay now the second rule I'll use I'll use you all know angle of incidence at the pole and angle of reflection at the pole both are equal means the ray is going to be formed like this this is the reflected ray now you can clearly understand these two reflected rays are parallel to each other that means you can clearly say where the image is formed the image is formed at infinity now we will look after the last condition that is when the object is placed between P and F now we place the object between P and F see this is the object let us see where the image is going to be formed we are using the first rule that is if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis reflected ray should pass through F so here is the reflected ray okay we are going to use another condition angle of incidence at the pole and angle of reflection at the pole angle of incidence at the pole is equal to angle of reflection at the pole that means this is our reflected ray see one thing is clear that these two will not intersect this direction let us see whether they are going to intersect on the other direction or not okay so now I am extending it so here also I am extending it now you can clearly see that these two lines are intersecting behind the mirror now see here is the image and you can see this is an erected image okay this is the mirror and where the image is formed image is formed behind the mirror and look at the size of the image the size of the image is greater than the size of the object see this is the object size this is the object size and look at the image size now the image formed is enlarged, erected and enlarged image is formed. So we can see all six images which are formed by a concave mirror. When the object is placed at infinity, image is formed on F. If the object is placed at F, image will be formed at infinity. If the object is placed beyond C, image is formed between F and C. If the object is placed between F and C, image is formed beyond C. If the object is placed exactly between P and F, image is going to be formed behind the mirror. These are the six conditions for a concave mirror. Thank you.